what's up guys, Adele Marquette 702 here, um, bringing you guys a special kind of video, something that I really didn't expect for me to do on my channel, but uh, I'm going to be starting something called Storytime with 702. I know it doesn't sound like the most interesting name, but you know, that's what I'm calling it for now, I just hope you guys are fine with it, I guess. I feel like this would be kind of like a weird slash funny thing to do on my channel, but um, yeah, can't wait to do this, and hope you guys do enjoy the story by the way um so yeah let's get started so this story i don't know it, it was a weird one definitely something that is something i wish i was there for because i don't know um i usually hang out with my friends every single day after school and we hang out by this area called the cul-de-sac you know some people will know what i'm talking about and you know they, she was just really really nice and I never thought something like this would really happen from this particular neighbor, but I I don't know, that everything anything can happen, I guess. So what had happened was, um, a group of my friends, I wasn't actually able to hang out with them uh, that day because I had to stay home since my mom was going out and she didn't want anyone else going outside since she thought, you know, it would be safer. So I was just staying home with my little brother, uh, just playing some video games like Smash and stuff like that and just chilling, relaxing at home. So my friends are hanging out at the cul-de-sac, just doing random stuff that usually happen on that oh the oh on those days and as soon as my mom comes back from whatever she was doing she tells me something she told she tells me to go into my basement because she needed to talk to me about something and in my head i'm just like oh shoot oh my god what did i do now like seriously whenever my mom tells me to actually like talk to her downstairs for a minute it's it's never good guys it's just never good so she brings me downstairs to the basement to talk for a little bit you know because she thought it'd be important for me to for me to just hear it and no one else in my house i'm sitting there listening to what she has to say i actually get really really nervous and i hope that i'm not in trouble because that's kind of the case with most of the having to talk to my mom so i wouldn't be too surprised if i was actually in trouble she was talking to me and stuff and she started talking to me about something that happened at the cul-de-sac or with my friends and stuff like that and it goes into that neighbor i was talking about you know the nice lady her daughters go to my school and stuff like that so this lady she tends to hear my you know my friends and sometimes even myself curse very very loud you know it doesn't happen on purpose like i don't try to just make a scene in front of those houses it's just it happens you know sometimes if we're angry or if something really cool happens we kind of tend to go off at some points but this one occasion she actually comes outside she confronts my group of friends that i wasn't even there for and insults them it's absolutely crazy because like she we haven't even like known this lady for a while she moved in just a couple of months ago at that point and we never expected her for to do anything but Again, it was our fault for kind of cursing so loud. I couldn't really blame her for actually confronting them about it because, I mean, I mean, if I were someone who was just trying to enjoy their day and this rotten group of kids were cursing right in front of their house, I would say something about it. But the way she said it was absolutely insane because she went off. And when I say me, well, like she went off, yo, dude, like it wasn't even funny how she went off. Like she straight up yelled right in front of their faces decide like pointed every single one of them out and she just so happened to point right down at my house saying that one down there that house right there better watch his mouth too because he's the he's the worst one so that's the exact same thing i was talking that my mom was talking to me about like it was absolutely insane i never expected for this to be such an issue like i said before you know things happen we don't really mean to do it just for fun or anything but stuff happens and, you know if she just had talked to them normally maybe it just would have been something simple that we could have done and as she's telling me this i'm really feeling like i was truly there like as if i was in that same scene when she was doing it but at the same time my mom was super pissed at that lady because she, you know that's she it was her son it was me who was she, she was pointing out so of course as the nice little boy i am i had to admit my faults that you know sometimes i do slip out a few words that may not everyone might agree with and i perfectly understand that like i said we haven't heard a thing from this lady i mean all she would do to, to say to us was like hi or how are you doing so i'm just thinking of how a lady like this so nice to us and not even saying a word to us in the past would actually act this crazy and you could say it was pretty exaggerated depending on how the opinion is but there was even proof of like other neighbors and their and neighbors mothers of their sons saying 
that this this was something that went on and I was in so much shock that this lady actually pointed out me me out of all those kids who said much much worse you guys obviously know me I'm, I'm quite the crazy person you know I do say things in my Fire Emblem playthrough or any playthrough in general that is you know just super stupid and sometimes in my playthroughs I do tend to curse a little bit but I was just so just surprised and like in awe that this lady would actually point me out in such a rude way and point out all my friends too like I was saying before like my mom was furious like she was ready to knock her head off and that's what he she was even saying that as she was talking to me about it eventually she did talk to her when she was dropping off my siblings off to the bus stop and in the end it all worked out um, you know okay and we're all happy again I haven't heard a word from this lady and I'm hoping that I really never will again because honestly I don't really want to mess with anything like that ever again. There goes the story for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this little story. Um, I did cut comms for this video, so I don't know if you guys enjoyed it or just thought it was weird or anything like that, but if you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that like button for me, because it always helps me out a ton. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and everything like that, because, again, it always helps me out a ton. But anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies.